In a recent video update, I shared that Sheikh Mohammed, the father of Sheikh Hamdan, has expressed a desire for Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh Thani to have another child. Previously, Sheikh Hamdan was visibly distressed by his father's wishes, feeling burdened by the expectations placed upon him. Recently, Sheikh Mohammed approached Sheikh Thani again, suggesting they have another son. At the time, Sheikh Thani was actually hoping for a daughter. On the evening of February 10th, Sheikh Thani broached the topic of expanding their family with Sheikh Hamdan. Known for his calm demeanour, Sheikh Hamdan reacted uncharacteristically with frustration, making it clear he did not wish to have another child with her. Sheikh Thani attempted to reason with him, mentioning their son Rashid's need for a sibling. However, Sheikh Hamdan's response grew even more heated. He expressed his openness to fatherhood, but criticised Sheikh Thani's manipulative approach and asked her to respect his autonomy. Sheikh Thani also mentioned Sheikh Mohammed's desires, to which Sheikh Hamdan responded that he felt coerced rather than guided by paternal wishes, leading to a stern request for less drama and pressure. Distraught, Sheikh Thani retreated in tears. This inside story comes directly from a servant at Sheikh Hamdan's palace, revealing a significant shift in his behaviour and emotions. It's clear that the pressures of familial expectations and the complexities of his relationships are taking a toll on him. Sheikh Hamdan appears increasingly distressed and alienated, particularly in his interactions with Sheikh Thani and Sheikh Mohammed. I hope this update gives you a deeper insight into the personal struggles of Sheikh Hamdan and his family. In today's video, I'll share a beautiful love poem that Shama Al Falasi, Sheikh Hamdan's girlfriend, posted on March 16th, 2024. Shama penned this heartfelt poem for Sheikh Hamdan, and I'm excited to delve into it with you. But first, if English isn't your first language, be sure to turn on subtitles. Just click below, choose captions, and select your preferred language. Let me give you a bit of background. Sheikh Hamdan and Shama went on a romantic movie date on March 15, 2024. Their love and mutual respect shone through, inspiring Shama to share her feelings in verse the very next evening. Here's the original poem that Shama posted, poem shared by Shama Al Falasi on March 16, 2024. Translation of the poem I carry you with me everywhere I go, and even it's not your physical presence, but still, you still. Stay with me, in my heart, your heart lies. You are my voice when I don't have the words, I'll love you, darling, till the end of this world. Analysis, first verse. I carry you with me everywhere I go. Shama expresses that Sheikh Hamdan's essence and love are always with her, influencing every moment and every experience, symbolizing their deep emotional connection. Second verse. She continues, even it's not your physical presence, highlighting that even when apart, the strength of their love keeps them together. Third verse, but still you stay with me, conveys that Sheikh Hamdan's influence is a constant in her life. His presence felt deeply within her soul. Fourth verse, in my heart, your heart lies. This line reveals the intimate bond they share, suggesting their hearts beat as one in a harmonious rhythm of love. Fifth verse, you are my voice when I don't have the words, illustrates how Sheikh Hamdan supports and understands her like no other often speaking for both their hearts. Sixth verse, I'll love you darling till the end of this world is a promise of eternal love, transcending the constraints of time and space. Through this poem, Shama Al Falasi eloquently expresses her profound love and devotion to Sheikh Hamdan, painting a vivid picture of a bond that is both tender and enduring. It's a testament to love's ability to flourish even amidst the complexities of life. I hope this breakdown helps you appreciate the depth of Shama's words. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching. However, the pain he inflicted upon her proved to be too great for any wife to bear. The emotional toll, the shattered trust and the complex dynamics that intertwined their lives became insurmountable obstacles. Now, let's take a step back and examine this captivating tale. Picture a world of royalty and intrigue, where love, loyalty, and unforeseen circumstances collide. Our protagonist, Sheikh Hamdan, 
finds himself entangled in a whirlwind romance that leads to the departure of his second wife. But why? That's the question that has piqued our curiosity and fueled our desire to uncover the truth. To understand the events that unfolded, we need to explore the backdrop of Sheikh Hamdan's life. As the winds of change swept across the Emirates, a tragic event shook the nation, the passing of the former president of the United Arab Emirates. In the midst of this transition, Sheikh Hamdan received a mysterious message from his father, Sheikh Mohammed. But hold on my friends, this wasn't a simple command, it was more like a piece of wisdom from a father to his beloved son. You see, Sheikh Hamdan held a special place in Sheikh Mohammed's heart. Their bond went beyond the usual father-son relationship. So this message was more of a heartfelt advice, urging Sheikh Hamdan to mend the strained relationship with Sheikha Sheikha Thani Al Maktoum, who happened to be Sheikh Mohammed's beloved niece. Sheikh Hamdan needed to bridge the gap and restore harmony within their intertwined lives. Intrigued by this call for reconciliation, Sheikh Hamdan made a decision. It wasn't forced upon him, but rather a choice he willingly made. He embarked on a journey to visit Sheikh Athani in the splendid city of London. Now, imagine the impact of this news on Sheikh Hamdan's second wife. Learning about his impending trip ignited a storm of emotions, leading to a heated argument that shattered their once peaceful home. Overwhelmed by hurt and misunderstanding, she sought solace in the comforting embrace of her parents' house, leaving Sheikh Hamdan in a state of profound sadness and isolation. In an attempt to express his feelings and extend an olive branch to his second wife, Sheikh Hamdan turned to social media. He poured his heart into a heartfelt message, hoping to rekindle their love and understanding. But fate had other plans, my friends. Sheikha Sheikha, Sheikh Hamdan's first wife, mistakenly believed that the message was meant for her. Fueled by her own desires for reconciliation, she responded with a poignant video, further complicating the already tangled emotions. Meanwhile, Sheikh Hamdan's second wife, caught in the storm of emotions, watched both videos with a heavy heart. She found herself torn between her understanding of Sheikh Hamdan's immense popularity and the unique challenge posed by Sheikha Sheikha's status as his first wife. It's crucial to note that she didn't hold any ill will towards Sheikh Hamdan's adoring fans. She accepted the demands of his position as the Crown Prince of Dubai, where popularity was a given. But it was the presence of Sheikha Sheikha, a constant reminder of the bond that preceded her own, that caused her heart to ache. To truly grasp the complexities of their relationship, we need to go back to a pivotal moment, a time when Sheikh Hamdan faced a difficult choice. Before marrying Sheikha Sheikha, Sheikh Hamdan had a deep connection with his second wife. Their bond defied societal norms and conventions. However, when Sheikha Sheikha entered the picture, a whirlwind of emotions engulfed him. Tormented by a love he couldn't let go of, Sheikh Hamdan succumbed to his longing and sought solace in the arms of his former flame. This turning point marked a significant shift in their lives and became a contributing factor to the multitude of reasons behind the departure of Sheikh Hamdan's second wife. The complex dynamics of the love triangle took their toll, eroding the once strong foundation they had cherished. Now, let's fast forward to the present moment, where the consequences of their choices have come to bear. Sheikh Hamdan's decision to visit Sheikh Athani in London served as the initial catalyst for his second wife's departure, a choice driven by his desire to mend familial ties and honor his father's advice. However, the fallout from this decision resulted in a heated argument that shattered their fragile union. Adding further fuel to the fire, a series of poetic messages entered the narrative. Sheikh Hamdan, known for his introspection and poetic soul, penned a heartfelt poem on June 10, 2022, in the serene surroundings of Sheikh Mohammed's opulent estate in Newmarket, United Kingdom. Let me share with you a glimpse of the ethereal words that flowed from his heart. Clouds welcomed you, as they were sitting and heating you, and grass looked shocked with your charm. Looking at the clouds it remains, but it looks at you and says, Oh hello, the next fascination by God. What is the day that dreams of shaking hands with the world that loves you? This poignant poem, which aimed to convey his emotions, served as the third reason for the unraveling of their union. Sheikh Hamdan's second wife, fully aware that the words weren't intended for her, 
felt consumed by anger and resentment. How could she endure a love that seemed to overshadow her own existence? But wait, my fellow high schoolers, there's yet another twist to this tale. Sheikh Hamdan, a poet at heart, shared another verse on June 29, 2022. In this profound composition, he presented an option, a glimmer of hope, that could potentially salvage his companionship with Sheikh Hashaika. This revelation became the fourth reason behind the further unraveling of his relationship with his second wife. Despite his relentless efforts, Sheikh Hamdan's second wife came to realize that she couldn't control his heart. This revelation, unbearable for a wife deeply invested in their shared destiny, shattered her illusions. It wasn't about money or material possessions, all she desired was Sheikh Hamdan's unwavering commitment and love. She remained steadfast in her decision, resisting all attempts at reconciliation. The passage of time hasn't healed the wounds inflicted upon their once beautiful bond. Sheikh Hamdan, burdened by regret and a yearning for redemption, continues to seek forgiveness from his second wife. Sadly, his pleas have fallen on deaf ears, leaving him to confront the consequences of his actions. In one of my previous videos, I shared the final poem penned by Sheikh Hamdan, a desperate plea for understanding and a testament to his enduring love. It's my humble belief that Sheikh Hamdan genuinely loved his second wife. However, the pain he inflicted upon her proved to be too much for any wife to bear. As we conclude this chapter, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for joining me on this captivating journey. Your support and curiosity fuel my desire to uncover the truth and share it with you. If you found value in my videos, I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on all future episodes. I've got some sad news to share about Sheikh Hamdan's love life. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Unfortunately, all his requests got turned down, and on October 16, 2022, Sheikh Hamdan and his second wife split for good. She was the one who asked for the divorce on October 15. On October 17, Sheikh Hamdan shared another poem. I explained its meaning in previous videos. In short, it talks about him accepting the end of his rights over his second wife and expressing his love for her. The mention of Sheikh Mohammed's kingdom means their ties are over. There are a bunch of reasons for the split, like unmet expectations and conditions on both sides. Now, about the kids, Sheikh Hamdan's sister will be looking after them because in their Islamic royal family setup, Sheikh Hamdan has more say over the kids. Have you ever wondered what the wife of Sheikh Hamdan thinks about him? In this video, we'll explore a poem written by Hadia Zen, Sheikh Hamdan's ex-wife, about their relationship. Discover the secrets she reveals and gain insight into their love story. The poem, which is titled My Sheikh My Love, is a heartfelt tribute to Sheikh Hamdan. It describes him as a kind, loving, and generous person who is deeply committed to his family and his people. The poem also touches on Sheikh Hamdan's love for nature and his passion for adventure. Through the poem we can learn a lot about Sheikh Hamdan's personality and character. He is portrayed as a humble and down-to-earth person who is deeply connected to his roots and his culture. He is also shown to be a romantic and caring partner who values his relationship with Hadiya Zen. The poem provides a unique insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life and his personal relationships. It shows us a side of him that is rarely seen in public and gives us a glimpse into the man behind the public persona. Hadiya Zen comes from a prominent family in Dubai and was married to Sheikh Hamdan for several years before their divorce. In the poem, she describes Sheikh Hamdan as her soulmate and the love of her life. She also talks about their shared love for nature and adventure and how they would often go on long drives and explore the wilderness together. However, the poem also hints at some of the challenges that their relationship faced. Hadiya Zen talks about how Sheikh Hamdan's responsibilities as a prince often kept him away from from her, and how she would miss him dearly during those times. She also mentions how their relationship was tested by external factors, such as the pressures of public life and the expectations of their families. Hadiya Zen's perspective on Sheikh Hamdan is one of love and admiration, but also one of complexity and nuance. The poem gives us a glimpse into their private life and the challenges that they faced as a couple, and it shows us that even the most glamorous and high-profile relationships are not immune to the ups and downs 
bounds of real life. Some people have praised the poem for its beauty and its insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life. They have commended Hadia Zen for her courage in sharing such personal thoughts and feelings with the world, and have expressed admiration for the love that she and Sheikh Hamdan shared. Others, however, have been more critical of the poem. They have questioned the appropriateness of sharing such personal details about a public figure and have accused Hadia Zen of seeking attention or revenge. Some have even suggested that the poem may have been written with the intention of damaging Shish Hamdan's reputation or causing him embarrassment. Despite the mixed reactions, the poem has continued to generate interest and discussion. It has sparked conversations about love, relationships, and the challenges of public life and has given us a glimpse into the private world of one of Dubai's most prominent figures. As the world continues to follow the lives of Dubai's royal family, it is likely that we will see more glimpses into their private lives in the future. For now, the poem, My Shake, My Love, remains a fascinating and thought-provoking piece of writing that has captured the attention of people around the world. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, if you want to know the real reason Sheikh Hamdan's wife left him, make sure to watch the video on the screen to find out why. Who is Sheikh Hamdan's mysterious girlfriend? Discover the shocking truth about Sheikh Hamdan's mysterious girlfriend, Shama al Falasi. You won't believe what we found out. If you're curious about the life of this fascinating Sheikh, make sure to watch until the end. Shama al Falasi is a well known personality in the United Arab Emirates. She was born on December 26, 1993, in Dubai, UAE. She is a social media influencer, entrepreneur, and founder of the luxury perfume brand, Shama al Falasi Perfumes. Shama al Falasi met Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, in 2018. They reportedly fell in love and started dating soon after. Sheikh Hamdan is the son of the ruler of Dubai and is known for his love of adventure, sports, poetry, and philanthropy. Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan's relationship has been the subject of much media attention and speculation. They have faced criticism from some quarters due to their age difference and cultural differences. However, they have also received a lot of support from their fans and well wishers. Despite the challenges they have faced, Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have been spotted together at various events and occasions. They have also shared pictures and videos of each other on their social media accounts. Shama al Falasi is known for her fashion sense and has been featured in various fashion magazines and blogs. She is also a philanthropist and has been involved in various charitable causes. Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan's relationship has been the subject of much media attention and speculation, leading to various controversies and rumors. One of the most common rumors is that Shama al Falasi is a gold digger who is only interested in Sheikh Hamdan's wealth and status. However, there is no evidence to support this claim, and Shama al Falasi has repeatedly denied it. Another controversy surrounding Shama al Falasi is her age difference with Sheikh Hamdan. Shama al Falasi is 30 years old, while Sheikh Hamdan is 39 years old. Some people have criticized their relationship, citing the age difference and cultural differences as reasons why they should not be together. However, Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have not let the criticism affect their relationship. There have also been rumors that Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan are secretly married. However, there is no evidence to support this claim, and both Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have not made any official statements regarding their marital status. Despite the controversies and rumors, Shama al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have the support of their fans and well wishers. They have also been spotted together at various events and occasions, and have shared pictures and videos of each other on their social media accounts. In the future, Shama Al Falasi plans to expand her business and launch new products under her brand. She has also expressed her desire to use her platform to raise awareness about various social issues and to give back to the community through charitable causes. As for her relationship with Sheikh Hamdan, their future plans are not known to the public. They have kept their relationship private and have not made any official statements regarding their future plans. However, they have continued to be together and have the support of their fans and well-wishers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want to know about the secret life of Sheikh Hamdan's kids, don't miss out watching the video that is on the screen right now.
Are you curious about the love story between Shama al falasi and Sheikh Hamdan bin Muhammad al Maktoum? In this video, you'll discover the beautiful poem that Shama wrote for her beloved, but that's not all. You'll also learn some fascinating details about Sheikh Hamdan's life that you won't find anywhere else. Sheikh Hamdan is a member of the ruling family of Dubai and is the crown prince of Dubai. He is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horse racing. Shama al falasi is the wife of Sheikh Hamdan and is known for her poetry. The couple met through their shared love of poetry and have been married for several years. Sheikh Hamdan is also known for his philanthropic work and has contributed to various charitable causes in the UAE and around the world. The video highlights the importance of Sheikh Hamdan's position as a prince and his role in the United Arab Emirates. The background information provides context for the love poem written by Shama al falasi and helps viewers understand the significance of the poem in the couple's relationship. The poem is a testament to their love and devotion to each other. The video provides a translation of the poem for non-Arabic speakers and analyzes the language and imagery used in the poem. The poem is a beautiful expression of love and admiration, and it reveals the depth of the couple's relationship. The video discusses the significance of the poem and what it reveals about the couple's relationship. The poem is a reflection of the couple's shared love of poetry and their appreciation for the beauty of language. The video also highlights the importance of poetry in Emirati culture and how it is used to express emotions and feelings. The love poem is a beautiful tribute to Sheikh Hamdan and Shama's love for each other, and it is a testament to the power of love and the beauty of language. The video provides a deeper understanding of the poem and its significance in the couple's relationship, and it helps viewers appreciate the beauty of poetry and the importance of expressing emotions through language. Sheikh Hamdan Hamdan is the crown prince of Dubai and is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horse racing. He is also an accomplished poet and has published several collections of his work. The video discusses Sheikh Hamdan's role in the United Arab Emirates and his contributions to the country's development. He is known for his philanthropic work and has contributed to various charitable causes in the UAE and around the world. The video also highlights Sheikh Hamdan's love of nature and his commitment to preserving the environment. He is an avid falconer and has been involved in several conservation projects in the UAE. The video provides a glimpse into Sheikh Hamdan's life and his many accomplishments. It highlights his passion for adventure, his love of poetry, and his commitment to making a positive impact on the world. The video also emphasizes the importance of Sheikh Hamdan's position as a prince and his role in the UAE's development. Overall, Sheikh Hamdan's love of adventure, passion for horse racing, and his accomplishments as a poet. The text also highlights his philanthropic work and his commitment to preserving the environment. Additionally, the text provides insight into Emirati culture and traditions, including the importance of Islam, family, and community. It discusses Emirati cuisine, traditional dress, and the importance of hospitality in the culture. The text emphasizes the importance of preserving Emirati culture and traditions in a rapidly changing world and encourages readers to learn more about the country's history and culture. Overall, the text provides a deeper understanding of Sheikh Hamdan's life and his contributions to society, as well as the rich cultural heritage of the United Arab Emirates. A piece of poetry, poignant and potent, shared by Hadia Zen, who, as many of you might already know, is the ex-wife of Sheikh Hamdan. The poem surfaced on Instagram on the 4th of May 2023, and it carries a whirlwind of emotions and subtle narratives that seem to unveil the curtains to some hidden chapters of Hadia's past life with Sheikh Hamdan. Before we dive deep into the heart of this poem, a quick heads up. If English isn't your first language, worry not. Just hit the subtitles button, select your language language and follow along with ease. We've ensured that the essence of this discussion is accessible to everyone, regardless of language barriers. Today's journey through poetry is not just about reading lines, but about unwrapping layers of sentiments and underlying messages. It's about connecting the dots, finding the contexts, and trying to grasp the emotions and experiences that have been poured into words by Hadia. Your attention is key, as we'll first absorb the original poem in all its raw intensity 
intensity, then step into a space of translation and thoughtful interpretation. So, buckle up as we navigate through the poetic landscapes of Hayadiyya Zen's heart and history. Let's explore together. We're about to embark on a journey, not just through a poem, but through a tapestry of feelings, woven with threads of experiences, decisions, happiness, and sorrow. The original poem, in its untouched and raw form, carries the pure essence of Hadiyah's emotions, and it holds the keys to understanding the profound messages encrypted within the lines. The words echo with nuances, possibly revealing hidden layers of her past relationship, allowing us a peek into the depths of her heart and mind. Art, especially poetry, holds power. It's a gateway that offers a subtle passage into the personal realms of individuals, allowing us glimpses into their worlds, their joys and sorrows. And in this case, the poetic verses seem to reverberate with echoes of Hadiyah's personal journey, her moments in the frames of decisions, and the realms of happiness and sadness within her past relationship with Sheikh Hamdan. So, as we display this poem, let's approach it with sensitivity and openness. Let's be receptive explorers, setting sails on the vast ocean of its expression eager to uncover the treasures of meaning and emotion hidden beneath the surface of words. The exploration promises to be enriching, laden with insights into the human heart and the complexities of personal relationships. Let's unveil the beauty and the bitterness embraced within this poetic expression together. All right, guys, now that we've soaked in the original essence of the poem, it's time to unravel its mysteries. We're going to sift through its lines, translating and dissecting each word, each emotion laid bare by Hadia. So grab your detective hats and let's dive into this poetic investigation. First off, let's tackle the translation. We'll gently unwrap the words, aligning them with more familiar territories of language and expression, ensuring that the soul of the poem remains cradled in its essence, even as we journey through different linguistic landscapes. The aim here is clarity, my friends, bringing the poem closer to the hearts and understandings of all who join us on this exploration. Now, on to the explanation, our chance to walk through the garden of this poem, touching each flower of expression, feeling each thorn of emotion. We'll start with the powerful beginning, The Time Has Gone, a doorway into Hadia's past chapters with Sheikh Hamdan. What do these words whisper about the sands of time that have slipped away, about the moments and memories wrapped in the folds of yesteryears? As we wander further, the poem speaks of happiness, or perhaps the echoes of its scarcity. It speaks of frames, decisions, and a realm where happiness seemed a fleeting guest. What does Hadia reveal about the frames that held her, about the decisions that seemed more like confinements? And then, the poem takes us along paths of letting go, of sadness tinged with the essence of liberation and survival. It seems to echo with the wisdom of distances, of saved lives and hearts, and the realization of the boundaries of reach and possibility. First on our list is this intriguing concept of frame. It pops up quite a bit, doesn't it? Let's hover around this idea for a moment. Could it be representing the structure, the boundaries, or perhaps the restrictions of their relationship? It seems like the frame of decisions and the environment that she found herself in with Sheikh Hamdan wasn't quite the picture-perfect scene she had hoped for. Next, let's sail through the seas of happiness in the poem. It's a vast ocean, but it seems like the tides of joy were somewhat low in Hayadiyya's voyage. Her happiness seems like a rare bird in the vast sky of experiences, overshadowed shadowed by heavier clouds of discontent and unease. And then there's this captivating journey from sadness to salvation. The poem narrates a tale of sorrow intertwined with the essence of freedom and survival. It's like walking through a storm, but finding a rainbow waiting on the other side. Hadia seems to find a silver lining in the gloom, a sanctuary in the separation. So, where does our journey begin? With Hadia Zen and Sheikh Hamdan, two lives intertwined in the threads of relationship and marriage. The echoes of their past reverberate through the poem, whispering tales of time spent together, decisions made, and the roller coaster of emotions experienced. This isn't just history, it's a canvas where the hues of their shared experiences blend and bleed into the tapestry of the poem. Diving into the poem, there's a recurring rhythm of happiness and sorrow, almost like the ebb and flow of tides. It feels like Hadia's words are navigated by the ship of their past relationship, sailing through storms of decisions 
tensions and conflicts. It appears as though the choices and environments, frames, as Hadia calls them, that existed in their relationship were more confining than comforting. And let's talk about the frames, possibly a metaphor representing the structured decisions and boundaries within which their relationship sailed. It seems that these frames bore heavily on Hadia, their rigid lines limiting the expanses of her happiness and comfort. These historical and emotional backgrounds serve as a guide, leading us through the mazes of expression in the poem. They shine light on the shadows, illuminating the nooks and crannies of meanings and emotions intertwined within the verses. So let's stroll through these contextual gardens, allowing the flowers of understanding to bloom in the light of background knowledge. The poem, rich with metaphors and emotions, opened doors to understanding a tapestry woven with threads of happiness, decision frames, and the bittersweet moments of letting go. Hadia's verses became a mirror, reflecting parts of her journey with Sheikh Hamdan, revealing facets of joy, constraint, liberation, and survival. As we stand at the conclusion of this poetic journey, it feels like we've shared a walk through the corridors of Hayadia's experiences, feeling the resonance of her emotions and the footsteps of her past. It's essential to appreciate the depth and vulnerability it takes to share such personal realms through poetry. Before we wrap up, a heartfelt thank you for joining in this exploration. Your presence and engagement breathe life into the words and make the journey through the poetic landscapes more enriching and meaningful. If these verses have touched your heart or sparked thoughts, feel free to share, discuss, and keep the river of exploration flowing. Remember, every poem holds a universe within its words, waiting for explorers like us to uncover its stars and skies. So here's to many more poetic voyages together, exploring, understanding, and appreciating the diverse realms of expression. Until next time, keep the spirit of poetic exploration alive and vibrant. Your thoughts, reflections, and insights are treasures in this journey, so feel free to share them in the comments below, letting the waves of discussion and understanding flow. If you found value in our exploration, a like and share would be much appreciated to spread the richness of poetic discovery further into the world. Let's keep the spirit of poetic exploration and appreciation thriving together.